So we've come to the end of this section and I want to conclude by just reviewing how what we covered today supports your human design experiment and journey and then I just want to end with an assignment that you can begin to put into practice. So today we've talked about your strategy to respond and your decision-making authority and we've explored a lot about how to get in touch with your sacral response. This is the foundation for your human design experiment. So when you put this into place, it puts your mind into the seat where it can begin to become the observer of your experience. So as you approach your strategy to respond and you really practice and embody your sacral response in a conscious way and you use it to make decisions in the way that you're designed to do it through your decision making authority, you will begin to observe all kinds of things about your conditioning, about what you need to let go of that no longer serves you and also about how you are releasing resistance in your life to being who you truly are to being empowered as the sacral being that you are so to reinforce what we've done today I want you to go back to the section where we talked about how to hear your sacral response and start to Put some of those suggestions into practice so that you can become more aware of how you verbalize your sacral response. Just pay attention to what begins to come out of your mouth as you connect more and more with your sacral motor. And I want to add to that if you have an emotional authority that this is the time when you can begin to pay attention to your emotional ups and downs, the ups and downs of your emotional wave, and to pay attention to how long it takes you to get through the cycle of one of your emotional waves. So if you're having trouble with this, if you can't really feel those ups and downs or you're not really conscious of it, you're loved ones and the people who are closest to you probably know when you're in a good mood and when you're not and they can inform you and point that out to you as you need it. So that concludes this section and I look forward to our live session together where you really get to get your questions answered and you get more information about how to turn your sacral motor on through sacral sessions.